YouTube. It is October 15th, 2011, a Saturday, and I have got a couple things to talk to you about. Mainly, it's going to be about my eyes, because I've had a couple requests for different information about things that have happened. But, number one today is it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I just want to put out a reminder there, since I am a big bosomed lady myself, that get yourself checked. Self checks or going to your doctor. It's very important. And I don't think it runs in my family, actually, when I think about it, but it kind of sneaks up on you, and you don't realize you have it until you're a little bit further along. So, prevention is key, y'all. Item number two is personal. I got back from AWA a little while ago, and it was so amazing, y'all. Like, our convention's real little, like 12 to 1,500 people, and theirs is like 20,000 people. So this thing was huge, and there was so much walking. But it was so much fun, and I got some swag, like this shiny t-shirt. Yeah, I know, I keep showing it off, because I'm totally in love with it. Alright, number three. I'm going to start talking about my eyes, and where they were, and where they are now. So, my eyes weren't always bad. When I was born, I had normal eyes, up to about second grade. That's when I noticed things starting to get a little bit blurry, so I went and got my first prescription for eyeglasses. Now, many of you may know or may not know, but eyeglasses actually make your vision worse. Over time, the strain from the eye to the lens, it, I guess it causes eye strain and makes your prescription worse. You know, I've never really thought about the details of it, but it is. My eyes progressively got worse over the years. To the point that last year, about this time, I had 20-2600 vision. And if you don't know what that is, that's bad. Like, really bad. The best way to explain to somebody how bad your vision is, is to use a point of reference. Like, that tree over there is the farthest I can see before it starts getting blurry. Or, I can read a book in front of me, but anything further than that is too blurry for me to see. Or the reverse if you have close vision, where it's blurry up close but fine away. The way I explain it to people is I could put my hand up to in front of my face and I still couldn't see it. My vision was that bad. I have my glasses here. These are my last glasses with the final prescription I ever got. These are for 20-2600. Now what's interesting with glasses, the worse your vision, the thicker they are. I actually got mine ground down. So you can see how thick they were before they ground them. That's, oh my gosh, it's almost half an inch thick it looks. It's, it's rather crazy. <laughs> if I put them on now, it's really blurry and I can't wear them for long, but... There you go. Hi, this is what I used to look like with glasses. And it's really hard to see through these, so... I'm actually not sure if this is very good for my eyes. <laughs> like I said, wearing glasses make your vision worse. But these were them. You wanna look through them? Yeah, it kind of surprised me. Everything looks the same. Somehow I thought it'd be blurry for you too, like they're blurry when I look through them. But they're not. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to move on to LASIK. I can actually now put these to the side and give you a brief recap. My eyesight was 20-2600, taking into account that normal vision is 2020. After LASIK, my vision is 2016. My right eye turned out to be 2020 and my left eye is 2016, but with both of them, I see 2016. I don't really know how that works out, but it did. That's what my eye doctor said. Now, I've heard about LASIK for years, and it's always been crazy expensive out of my reach. But how I heard about the Clear Sight LASIK Center was TV. They do commercials all the time, and they did this particular one where they were doing a $1,000 off coupon, I know, and $25 gift certificate to any food place around here. So all you had to do was call the number and they would send you a free packet. And I thought, why not? Just get the packet. So I ordered it and it came in sometime later and Mom and I started looking through it. At first it wasn't anything but a pipe dream, like LASIK surgery, thousands of dollars, whatever. That's like getting a nip and tuck, whatever. I'm just going to have that eyesight forever. And we started talking and looking at our finances and we thought, the worst that could happen is you go in and apply. Because if you just applied, you got the $25 gift certificate, and that's how they got me in there. <laughs> so Mom and I went, and uh, we scheduled an appointment. We went and did our consultation there. They were very nice. 
they were honest with us about how much it cost. And they had us sit down and watch a video explaining the basics of LASIK surgery. Now, I won't go into the basics because I'm not an eye doctor, I'm not anything medical, so I can honestly explain anything to you. But what I gathered from watching the video is my round eye, they're going to cut a slit off and fold a flat back on top. And with a laser, go in and shoot lasers at it and it'll correct the ridges and bumps in my eye so I can see correctly. There's actually many different types of surgery on your eyes and one that's been around for a while and these discounted programs for like $6.99 an eye that you hear around here are actually not bladeless. They are bladed LASIK. They cut your eye open and then use a blade to go in and do it. Now while this is a machine doing it, it's still not as precise as a laser. The next thing we did was look at my credit. Before rebates, I think it was $5,600 to get both my eyes done, and I didn't have that sitting in the bank, so I looked at their credit system, which they offered Care Credit. It's a credit card with a revolving credit account where you're given so much, and you can have separate large purchases on there, and each one has its own interest rate and taxes. So I can be paying on one with zero interest for 12 months and be doing the same on another. And that is how I qualified to get this LASIK done. So. Over quite a long time, I'm able to pay, and in three years, I would pay it off interest-free. And my eyes would be paid for using that card. I actually have this little thing they gave me to hold everything with my information. Okay, so I had to sign quite a few things. Here it is. I actually had to write it out, saying that I understand that even with being a prime candidate, that my vision might not become 100% perfect. I thought that was interesting. So I wanted to show you all that, that you do have to sign a waiver. And that did make me a little apprehensive, but I was pretty committed to it by that point that I wanted to get this done. And mine turned out, after the $1,000 was taken out, be $3,598. That's what I had to finance on my care credit, a $5,600 limit was basically $4,000 to get my eyes done. That's almost $2,000 an eye. So, going into the actual surgery was very interesting. It was very different than what I expected. You're in the waiting room, which is this nice open area, and they had a puzzle you can do, and it's very office-y, but then they take you down this back hall, and you go past the door, and all of a sudden you're in, like, a hospital. All the tiled floors and rooms and curtains. You know how it is, those drawing curtains. It very clinical and they set me down and they put numbing drops in my eye. I'm getting into the actual procedure now. It took a while for them to go into effect and I actually didn't feel too much kind of a sensation in my eye but you didn't really have a name to put to it. It wasn't bad or good I just felt it. And then Dr. Wilson came back by and he took this little thing and tapped on my eye and said, can you feel this? Can you feel this? Okay we're gonna put more drops in. And eventually when my eyes got to where he was comfortable with, they moved me into surgery. At that point, they moved me to my own room. I was in kind of a curtained off area that was nice and dim, but they put me in a chair that reminded me of a dental office chair when you're getting your teeth worked on. And it laid back just the same, and it had the machine over me. But before I laid all the way back, they put this funky thing on my eyes to cut the slits. Now I had to stay still, but they put it there, and I heard this shlunk and I could kind of feel it. They were cutting the flap for my eye. Like I said, they open up the flap and the lasers do it inside. They had to cut that. And you can kind of feel it, but your eye is numb. I imagine it'd be really painful if it wasn't. And they did that eye, and then they moved to the next eye, and it was done. And it only took a few minutes, and it wasn't too bad. So I laid back in, and they got my information put into the computer machine cutting LASIK thing. And I started focusing in on what I was looking at. Now when they had this thing, they put it over both my eyes and shut off one eye so I could only see through one. Like, you've seen this when you get your eye exam done. And there was a little red laser at the very end. They told me to start practicing and focusing on that laser because when you get LASIK surgery done, you have to stay very, very still. Or it can mess up, I guess, if you're moving your eyes all around. They then started explaining to me how it's going to be done. They folded my flap over, and when they do, it's this funky sliding feeling. And they put some liquid eye drops on it for lubrication, I guess and started the surgery. Now each eye only took a couple minutes. You're in there for a total of 15 or 20 minutes for the entire surgery. 
but only a couple minutes an eye. The best way to explain it is if you've ever been to a concert with the crazy lasers everywhere, the blues and the greens, that's what it looked like dancing around in my eye. Like the entire time I'm focused on that red dot in the very end of my vision, with these colorful lasers just going crazy in my eyes. <laughs> It was very interesting to watch. So they did that, they covered it up, and after a minute it was like it was done. Okay, did y'all really do anything? Next eye. They did that eye. That one, I guess because I got nervous, I started moving around more, and they kept repeatedly telling me to stay still, which kind of made me more nervous. But, I don't know, 30 seconds longer and they had that eye done. It was that same weird craziness. It only took a few minutes and my eyes were done. They kind of moved back the machine and slid me forward and told me to open my eyes. And when I opened them, I was actually a little disappointed because it was murky. I could see, but it looked like it was milky cloudy in there. It was really bizarre. And they had me look at something on the wall and had it nice and dim for me. They didn't just immediately flick on the lights. And had me get comfortable, and then they wanted me to rest. They had me rest in there for about another 15 minutes to get comfortable. There was no pain. There was a little sensation again in my eye, but there was no pain. After 15 minutes, my mom was out waiting in that initial area. They had me walk back out there, my little scrub booties on and everything, <laughs> and put a blanket around me and gave me this, which had my information in it, and this. And then they started explaining to me about my medication. This is what they came in. My medication came in two little things and little boxes inside. One from what it was explained to me is a saline solution and I believe this one was kind of an antibiotic to help the healing process. And this one here is I believe the steroid. I might have this backwards but one was a steroid and one was an antibiotic. And a peak bottle and they numbered them so I knew which order to go into. This one first, let it rest a few minutes in this one. Now, when the first days I got it, I had to put these on four times a day. They gave me a schedule like 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock, bedtime. So, every few hours I had to do this. And including up at work when I went back, I'd have to put them in my eyes. And occasionally they would get itchy afterwards because they were drying out. So, this stuff really helped. But they also gave me Refresh Plus Lubricant Eye Drops, Allergen, something like that. This is what they gave me when my eyes get dry and I can use these as much as I want. The nice nurse also explained to me I was not allowed to touch my eyes. Remember that flap that they cut? They have to lay it back down perfectly. So if it shifts and excuse, my vision also gets messed up. Just the same. So to keep myself from messing up that flap in my sleep, they give you these. I had to wear these for the first week for sure to make sure I don't rub them. But as I tend to do that a lot, I went ahead and wore them a second week just to be sure. But only when I was sleeping. They gave me sunglasses when I went out the first day to make sure I didn't touch them. And because your eyes might be a little sensitive to light, which mine really weren't too bad. And these for a night when you go to bed. Now getting surgery isn't the last thing you do. The Clear Sight LASIK Center had me come in the next day. So I came back in on a Saturday because I got my surgery on a Friday and they gave me my exam, they checked that flap was in place, that I wasn't in pain, and that I was doing my medication and just not touching my eyes and doing everything correctly, which I was doing okay. So they had me come back a week after that for an exam. Now at that one they tested my vision, and at the time I had 20-20 in both eyes. At that time they scheduled another one, there's so many of these checkups it felt like, a month later. At that appointment I had 20-16 in one eye and 20-20 in the other, which was great. They told me from there I probably had one more appointment. So a month after that I went in and they checked me and it was the same. And I went from 202600 to 2016, which is phenomenal. So that's basically everything I went through. That was the end. I didn't need glasses anymore. I still kind of had the habit of pushing up my glasses and until now I didn't notice I don't do it anymore a year later. Everything went to a life where it never seemed like I had glasses before. I could buy sunglasses, and it was so much fun, and now it's just the norm. I can see perfectly. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you for sending to this long video, and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, be sure to send them to me on just YouTube. Now I'll do a follow-up video if I need and explain some more. And that's it for this video. I hope it's helped you and I will probably do a personal vlog at a later time because there's more stuff going on other than my eyes. See you later!